going on to the next tab, the and or tab, recall that we were using a nested if statement uh, that we built in a prior drill um, on the if tab to output whether both you and your sibling are old enough to vote. The end function facilitates that type of analysis where you need to evaluate logical arguments more than one at a time. So an and function uh, looks like this. If we type in equals and open parentheses, it basically tests if all of the logic criteria that we put into each of these arguments is true. If all of them are true, it will output true. If one or more of them is false, it will output false. Okay, so let's see what that looks like for uh, this table here where we have an employee. And our criteria here is that if this employee has been on the job five years or more, and it's received an eight or higher for a performance rating, then output a salary reflecting a 0.5% raise or 0.05 raise. Otherwise, output in quotations, no raise. So of course we can use an, a nested if statement with this, but let's practice using and. So again, our criteria here, we're gonna start with an if statement. So if, and here our logical test is that both of these conditions is true. So both the five years or more and the uh, performance rating of eight or higher. So I'm gonna use an and statement here and I'll say if and open parentheses and here's where I'm going to put in my two logicals. My first one is that the years at the company is greater than or equal to five. My second criteria is that the performance rater, rating is greater than or equal to eight. So if both of those are true, then I'm giving this employee a raise. We'll take 1.05 times the old salary as the new salary. And if either of these or both are false, then I output no raise. Okay, so again, I'm saying if both of these functions or both of these criteria are true, then show me the salary with a 5% raise. Otherwise, if either of these or both are false, then say no raise. And of course, this is what we expect because this employee, while has performed really highly, has not been with the company long enough. If I shift down arrow, down arrow, down arrow, and command D, then I can check to see if my formula is correct, where here I'm not giving this employee a raise because their performance rating is too low, even though they've been with the company for more than five years. And here my employee C has been with the company for more than five years and has gotten an eight or above performance rating. Same thing for employee D and therefore they are showing a 5% salary raise. I'll leave the or function for you to do, uh, but or works very similarly to end, except the or function evaluates to true if at least one argument is true. So if at least one of these arguments is true, so it could be one or both that are true, then this will uh, be true if you have an or here. And remember to use that F9 trick. So if I see that this, let's look at this one. I see that end F9 is evaluating to false. Let's see which of those arguments is evaluating to false to make that the case. So I'm gonna hit escape and then F2 again. I'll select this logical and press F9 and I can see that it's evaluating the years of the company as being greater than five. And let's see if this is the culprit. 
press F9, and I can see that it's evaluating that second argument as false. And because both of these aren't true, the end function's going to return false. But again, or works similarly, except or returns true if at least one argument of all of your arguments is true. So give that a try in your drill where you're combining the if statement with an or function to evaluate if these employees get raises.